Hello guys, and today I'll be starting a new series called Soto Railways. This is just going to do all the railways from the first railway, SNM, the one I'm going to be talking about today, and to the Northwestern Railway merge, which is probably going to be a two or three parts, so I hope you guys enjoy this, but here's the story. And well, it starts when, when 15 engines were built. Five of them look like this. And the other ones had a different livery, but and shape. They look like this. They were built from 19, sorry, 1850. To 1855. Then a new railway came about and they needed a lot and they needed some engines. They gave them some. To afford to go further, they had to sell, sell off more engines. They will. They built another engine, and soon there was a fleet of three. One was the number 15. The other one had no number, but was the last one to be built. And then we had Neil, number two. Where's Neil? One, uh, one was named Samson. The other, Matthew. Matthew was the only one to have a cab. Built in 1863. Modified one, modified to have one in 1866. Then in 1865, a new railway opens called the Scarlowe Railway. It has a fleet of two engines, but the SNM still gets most traffic. Now this land starts start at. would start at Kels Kildane, but some of the line was cut, and they managed to make a new go from Great Wall, Great, <laughs> sorry, uh, a station, the big station for Bickerstown, and then in 1875, they were funded, so they bought so they bought five more engines. All were much stronger than than the older ones. But most of them had a cab. And well the original owner died in eighteen seventy seven. His son took over. And one of the engines, Samson, was relocated to a mine, and Matthew is relocated to the tramway. Neil was the only one left of the old engines. The other ones that they had given to the railway, now gone. The railway had closed many years ago. Neil was put in less and less use. Well, one day, something happened. One of the big engines were running into Roland's gate when, as he was going over the track. The signal had accidentally switched the point, causing him to fall. It was time for Neil to shine. This happened in 19... Oh, one. They had built a bridge to the main line. But Neil had to carry a big train. It was a small engine, but he had a big task. Pull a train of a bigger train. It was a big task. And he had no brake van. So Neil went on with the train. They say he worked so hard that... He blew himself to bits. 
or worked himself to be, or worked himself to death because he disappeared for around 50 years before he was found again. It was actually, wait, sorry, I meant to say 100. And well, 1903. Something happened to its number of four express engine. But 1903 would spell doom for the Soto name on railway. Some say he deserved Others say it was a sad loss that day. Whatever happened, engine was thundering down and his crew jumped because the gate bridge gave out in a big storm. The engine fell down. Everybody below and his crew were unable to make it out. They jumped and perished. They were gone by 1904. Most of the engines were sold off to their own owners. Some were bought by the other railways. And some were just put away for abandonment. But that they spoke doom. The mines closed soon after. Samson and Matthew found a home on the Wellsworth and Suttery Railway. Samson would work at a coal mine for the Napford and Olstead for the Napford and and Olstead Railway. Sorry. And well Matthew would work as a shunter at the big station Napford. But, this, but the Great Waterton lot was purchased soon after. It stayed in 1913. No, sorry, 1914. Well, there was something unfortunate. But that's a story for another day. Hmm, hmm, hmm.